Thanks to its unrivaled greenhouse technology, the Netherlands produces the highest tomato yields in the world. Most of its tomatoes are exported, with almost half of the produce going to Germany. There, consumer demands do not only stimulate production quantities, but also boost tomato quality as well as the sustainability of its production. It is therefore not surprising that research institutions and companies of these two neighboring countries now joined forces and work together to further minimize or even fully abolish the application of chemicals needed for combating the many insect pests that like to feast on tomato plants. Of all those species that attack tomatoes, white flies are considered the most noxious. They were one of the first pest species to be controlled biologically, with parasitic wasps used at large scale since the early 70s. Nowadays, whitefly control mainly depends on the action of macrolophus predatory bugs that completely take over from parasitic wasps when their population reaches full strength by the end of springtime. These generalist predators show a clear preference for whiteflies, but unlike parasitoids, also eat other important pest species such as spider mites and aphids. This makes them very versatile biological control agents. While macrolophus predatory bugs can also feed on plant sap, this hardly ever results in real crop damage. Unfortunately, whitefly biological control is still often problematic during winter and spring. Effective and year-round whitefly control therefore requires a somewhat different approach, combining the action of natural enemies with that of other biotic agents, a systems approach. Endophytes, which are bacteria or fungi that live within the plants without causing disease, are an interesting and promising group of biotic agents since they can support plants to improve their defense system against pests. These endosymbionts are very common and occur in almost all plant species, but remain relatively poorly studied. Endophytes are excellent candidates for a systems approach to whitefly control. They can act actually as growth stimulants, which has a huge advantage over other biotic and abiotic agents that can induce plant defenses. The four product development partners have conducted a series of experiments to test the effect and applicability of tomato endophytes on the Macrolophus whitefly system. We discovered that the growth of the fungal endophyte we use for inoculating tomato roots remains restricted to the roots, but does trigger plant defenses in the above plant plant parts. Remarkably, the efficacy of the generalist predatory bugs can be further improved by the application of endophytes since we observed that Macrolophus kept the whitefly populations much better under control in the presence of the endophyte. We believe that the endophyte renders the plant tissue less appetizing to Macrolophus, which is then forced to shift from an omnivorous feeding habit towards a more carnivorous feeding habit. The combined application of endophytes and Macrolophus also resulted into a higher number of tomato fruits without affecting tomato quality and taste. The endophytes can be mass-produced by E. Nema, a German company. They formulated the endophytes into an easy-to-use product that can be readily applied to the greenhouse irrigation system, thus securing a slow and continuous release of spores. Moreover, its use is fully compatible with other integrated pest management strategies. Here we have presented a typical example where one and one becomes three. By taking a systems approach and combining the action of Macrolophus and endophytes, we do not only improve whitefly control, but we can also optimize tomato yield. We will now further optimize the system through fundamental research into the mechanisms and by testing combinations of other endophyte strains and predatory bug species. <laughs>